Hey there YouTubers, Jim from Ohio here and I know it's been a long time since I've posted any videos and I wanted to take a little bit of time and try to catch everybody up on things that have been going on around here and uh, some of the different activities. Uh, we had a uh, illness in the family which resulted in a death and that took away uh, a lot of time uh, taking care of family matters and then uh, just with work and projects around the house, I haven't been able to post any videos. But I appreciate everybody who's been tuning in and viewing the videos and posting comments. I've been trying to keep up as best as possible with comments. So I thought it would be good to post an update of how things have been running over the last year. And uh, I'll break those down into several different videos and try to go into detail. Uh, with uh, some of the different uh, sections of my solar project that I posted last year. So with this video, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the racking system, uh, how it's held up, what has worked well, what I would do a little bit different if I were to do this again. Uh, so uh, as far as this rack goes, it is a stationary rack. If you'll remember, 12 panels on it. The four panels across the top are running my, uh, my uh, grid tie inverter. And then the eight panels down at the bottom are running my off-grid inverter charging batteries. Uh, as far as the rack itself goes, everything has been holding up excellent. Um, really, I have no complaints about this system, uh, with maybe one, uh, one small exception. Um, during the uh, summertime, we had a lot of the uh, boring bees that uh, really were all over Ohio. And uh, I did notice that, I don't know if you can see that there with the lighting, but looks like we have a, a boring bee hole right here. Uh, where they bored into the header board. Um, had another one uh, right here that uh, they bored in. So uh, my concern is maybe uh, long term, how well would this hold up? Um, well, I found it interesting that the, the boring bees did not touch the post at all, uh, nor did they touch the uh, the header that's down at the bottom. So they only seem to be going to the higher surfaces and for the most part they've either been doing the under service or on the face of this board. So I think if I were to do this again instead of running a wooden stringer across the top here uh, I think that I would just uh, get some more of these uh, heavy duty uh, uh, truss, I forget what they're called um, but I think I would just mount those straight across between my legs instead of having this here and I could still use the the U-bolt uh, system uh, of a way of mounting these uh, but just have a, a couple uh, metal studs going across there instead. I think that would take care of the boring bees. Uh, the only other issue that I had with this racking system is I did notice uh, periodically I would come out and I would check my cables and the cable connectors here and at one point in time I did find one of uh, one of the connectors that looked like this right here that joins uh, uh, the two ends together um, uh, it was cracked and so I don't know if it was caused by the heat or if something had uh, uh, just smacked it real good I really don't know but uh, I did go ahead and replace that um, the way that I happened to notice that is, is I had a drop in the voltage and uh, that happens to be on the uh, grid tie inverter and so I noticed the uh, the voltage on my uh, grid time and uh, grid tie inverter dropped and so I just came out to look and see what could have possibly been causing it and that's the only thing I found that was odd and I replaced that one uh, the one splitter or Y connector and uh, everything took off and has been running good ever since then. Uh, so as far as this rack goes, I'm happy with it except for the uh, problem with the uh, wood boring bees. 
Uh, as far as this rack goes, uh, these three panels are what are feeding my solar hot water system. And I have pretty much the same thing to say about this one. Uh, I did notice that, that I have uh, noticed a couple places where the wood boring bees have drilled a couple holes in it. Um, other than that, this has been holding up uh, really sturdy. Uh, no complaints. Uh, we have had several uh, good storms that have come through the area with about 50 mile an hour winds and uh, these things were lock, uh, rock solid steady no problems at all. Uh, now what I would do different with this system if I were to do it again in the future um, when I set this up so that the panels could pivot based on the time of the year um, I didn't really get the center of gravity or the balance point centered on the panels. Uh, so most of the weight on this one is down on this end. So when I do make the adjustments in the uh, spring and in the fall time, uh, it is a little bit heavy. Uh, it, it's, it's good to have somebody out here to help me just so that this thing, once I loosen up, the uh, support post here so that the whole thing doesn't uh, come down. It's not too heavy, but uh, I hate to risk the wind catching the panels and it coming and smacking and maybe breaking a panel. Uh, so if I were to do that again, I think I would uh, raise these panels up higher so that the center of gravity uh, makes it a little bit easier to adjust it out. Now I'm not able to do that here just because of the proximity of this rack with this rack over here. If I raise these panels up any higher it's going to create shadowing uh, in the uh, late fall and probably in the winter on the lower panels over here. So uh, not going to worry about that for now. Um, next time uh, when we go to move this to uh, we're, we're probably going to be moving in the next year or so and so all of this is going to be taken apart and relocated to the new location. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'll do then is I'll just make sure that I do it the way I want. So if you're to build something like this, just get your center of gravity more towards the center point of the panels and should be good to go. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to keep this video short and wrap it up. Uh, that's really all I have to say about the uh, rack mounting system. Uh, everything's been working good with it. Uh, if you've got any questions, be sure to post them below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below and uh, receive the updates on uh, uh, all of the other systems that I have in place. Take care and enjoy your day.